What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And for today's video, we will be reviewing a sneaker that I've done a couple iterations of it already. But to me, this is absolutely the best colorway of this sneaker out of the whole entire collection. But before we even continue guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And what we got right here is none other than the Cactus Plant Flea Market and Nike Air Force One collaboration in the cream and white colorway. So before I thought it was all white, but after getting it in person, there are a lot of cream or off-white hits to it, which really enhances the shoe in my personal opinion. And guys, I definitely wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that this is a cop or drop? Are you feeling it? Or do you prefer the 2020 version of this sneaker, which is essentially all white with no cream hints? Personally, as I just mentioned earlier, I do think that the cream hints actually enhances this sneaker, but I definitely wanna hear your thoughts. So now with this being out of the way, guys, let's just briefly go over the box details. And if you guys have been on my channel, you've seen this review two other times other than this one. So what we got right here is this all black box with this CPFM Nike font logo right here. Then when we go into this side of the box right here, you can see that we do have that Air Force One logo in that CPFM font. And we do have that kind of red Nike check logo as well as a yin and yang logo, as well as that Nike CPFM font right there. Then when going on to this side of the box right here, we have some more of those Nike font details. And then finally guys, when going on to this side of the box right here, you can see the sticker tag with the yin and yang logo right next to it. And it does read off as Nike Air Force One Low SP. And the colorway shown is white, white and light bone. And with this sneaker, I did go with my true to size, which is a size eight. And I 100% recommend that whatever Air Force size that you normally wear, definitely go with that when getting these sneakers because they fit true to size to me. But for some other people, they usually go a half size down or a full size down on Air Force Ones, which I don't understand how that's even possible, but it is what it is on that, guys. So now let's just go on to the inside of it. And then when we look at it, we do have this plain white lid right here. And then when we do look at this dust bag, we do have it in this all black detail and it does have this very fluffy material on it, which I really do enjoy. So on the top of it, you can see that we do have that Nike logo and then it says Air Force One. And then right below that, we do have the Yin and Yang logo as well as that red Nike check. And then finally at the bottom, you can see that it does say just do it at the bottom, which is a very nice touch. And again, if I were keeping these sneakers, I don't know yet, but I'm probably not because again, I'm not an Air Force One wearer. I've gotten a couple of the most fire Air Force Ones over the years and I haven't really kept none of them because it's just not my style personally. I know they're a big staple, especially in New York City, but it's just not what I wear to be honest. And now guys, one more thing that I do wanna mention that's inside the box is this awesome CPFM Sky Wax tissue paper. So we do have the CPFM logo we have some nike checks and all different type of fonts going all over with that sky detail and then on the inside of that you can see that we do have the standard white nike wax tissue paper right here and now guys with that being out of the way let's just briefly go over the history of this sneaker so i mentioned it in the previous reviews so essentially there is no need to explain the history of the air force one because again this is a hood classic cultural icon and just a big staple worldwide so there's nothing to report on that that you guys don't already know but when looking at the cpfm touch of what this air force one got going on to it you can see that we do have this huge huge oversized stylized font and this actually is not from cpfm well let me just mention something really quickly so we do have this sunshine detail and if you guys are familiar with the cactus plant flea market they have a lot of overgrown sunny desert kind of things going on the name is cactus plant flea market and what does a plant need to grow sunshine so this is a big staple within their brand itself but when looking at the stylized font this actually comes from the 1996 air more up tempos which is a classic sneaker number one but i do think that the 97 up temples look way better and i think overall it's just a better shoe but what's really dope about that is the fact that that was scotty pippen's signature sneaker when he was on the chicago bulls and that's pretty much all of the history that i have to say about the sneaker itself so now let's just focus on to the details so i'm gonna first start off with the right side of the shoe and when looking at this toe box right here you can see that we do have this nice tumble leather toe box not the greatest or most premium leather but it is a very nice leather especially when you touch it you can feel that it's thick and then when looking at the mud guard you can see that the same leather follow suit right here however there's something that you guys are probably not going to be able to catch on camera but similar to the moss and the fuchsia pink pair they do have a two-tone so like i mentioned earlier it definitely has this cream colorway on the toe box and mud guard area or more specifically the light bone colorway as it says on the sticker tag and then we do have more of that all white detail on the upper of the shoe and now in focusing or going towards the top of the shoe now you can actually see that we do have the standard af1 dubray right there and that silver metallic colorway then when looking at the laces this actually doesn't seem white this is more of that light bone colorway on the laces which i actually really enjoy and love that little pop that it has to it but of course it does come with a second pair of laces which are these thick sail or light bone colored laces and if i were to keep these sneakers after putting on the pink pair that automatically had the fat laces on them 
the fat laces are an extreme game changer. So if I was to wear these, I would definitely rock them with these fat laces, to be honest. And now guys, when going onto the top of the tongue tag right here, you can see that we have that standard all white Air Force One logo right there, which is a staple, classic, HUD classic especially. So I love that they kept that original. And then when going onto the lateral side of the shoe now, guys, you can see that we do have that stylized font that just says air right here. And it is in that up-tempo font, which is a pretty nice touch. But what I do love about this, which is different from the original white on white 2020 pair is the fact that it does have sale hits on it and it looks absolutely awesome. And it's definitely going to make the shoe pop this summer. Now when going onto the Nike check right here, you can see that it actually isn't in that all white detail. It does have that sale or light bone hit to it. And I do love that and it's very very subtle hits on it that makes the shoe pop and they did they think with this one again i'm going to self-proclaim that this is the best pair out of all of them that dropped because it is all white on white which is a hood classic for the air force ones now i'm going towards the back heel area of the shoe now you can see that we do have that nike air detail and it has that embroidered stitching on it as well then we're going on to the medial side of the shoe guys you can see that this side is definitely all white with that nike check but the same thing overall pretty much follows suit now i'm looking on the left shoe guys because of course this is my favorite detail and sometimes i do wish that they did the sunshine on both pairs i understand that the air sunshine does sound better to the ear however i just love this oversized wrapped around sunshine detail and i would have loved if they just put sunshine sunshine on both sides of the shoe to be honest i think that would just work out for me because that oversized font wrapped all over the shoe with those hits it looks awesome to me i don't know how you guys would feel about that but i think cpfm should definitely drop a pair with all sunshine sunshine on both sides of the shoe but anyways guys one more thing that i do want to mention about the sneaker is the fact that we do have the standard air force one midsole so you do have that air logo right here and on this specific side of the shoe the font is actually stitched into the midsole which is a pretty nice detail now i'm focusing onto the outsole of the shoe guys you can see that the same thing pretty much follows suit and there's nothing really to report on that's different from any air force one it's the same exact traction pattern nothing has changed but we do have that nice little nike logo right there and another detail that i want to mention about the sneaker is the fact that we do have all leather lining inside the ankle area of the shoe and definitely that would add to the comfort of it and again it just looks absolutely awesome i love this all white slash cream hit with this nice tumble leather detail. And finally, guys, before we conclude this review, I do wanna show you guys the insole one more time. And this will be the last review for the CPFM Air Force ones that I will do this year, unless they make more colorways. So as you can see on the left insole right here, we do have this red weather detail on it. And essentially what that signifies from a temperature perspective is the fact that this insole is hot. And then when looking on the opposite side, you can see that the inner core of it is red hot. However, the outer core is blue, which means that it's cold. So on the left insole, we do have a red hot detail. And on the right, and so we do have this cool blue detail. And with that being said, guys, that's pretty much gonna conclude all the details as well as the history of the shoe. So now let's get right into the song for look, guy. y'all so that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it for y'all definitely let me know what you think about this cpfm and nike air force one collaboration in that white and cream colorway guys i definitely think that this is the best out of the pack but i definitely want to hear y'all thoughts so other than that don't forget to like share comment and subscribe share with your friends and family and all that and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace